Good morning, my dear students. Today, in this string manipulation lesson number 10, on the page number 367, question number 6, it is given what write a program that should prompt the user to type some sentences followed by the enter. It should then print the original sentence and the following statics related to the sentences. First number of words we have to print. So f equal to input f is equal to input enter the enter the sentence then w is equal to zero for i n s if <coughs> i dot is space then w equal to w plus one then print number of words are number of words are w plus 1 now as we will run this code i am a student so you can see number of words are 4 1 2 3 4 if any other word you are giving 1 2 the number of words are 2 now in this second part number of characters including white space and punctuation including white space and punctuation means everything we have to include so here in this code here we can write it separately for i n s and one more counter I need c equal to 0 c equal to c plus 1 and print number of all characters with spaces are now code now enter the sentence so I am a student so you can see number of all the characters with the spaces are 14 and the number of words are 4. Now in this program, the third part, the third section is that alphanumeric, percentage of alphanumeric. So we have to take out the integers num equal to this and for i in s if i dot is is digit then num equal to num plus i <coughs> and num equal to num plus i print Number digits 
are digits are num now a b c d and like this so digits are 1 2 3 4 it is showing then after num equal to num int num now per is equal to num slash e into 100 and print the percentage of alpha alpha numeric is <coughs> per now a b c d now basically how many characters are there num 1 equal to 0 and for i in s num 1 equal to num 1 plus 1 And here num one A B C D <coughs> now the number of characters are this here <coughs> C is the count of all Int we have to change so here num equal to int num string not integer to string. <coughs> Now num equal to num plus one num equal to num plus one num is here equal to zero and num one is nothing. Now it is the correct format of this answer. Now this program is working properly. Now question number 
seven. Question number seven. Write a Python program as per the specification given below. Repeatedly prompt for the sentence string of or for q to quit. Write uh, upon input the sentence print the string produced from s by converting each lower case letter to upper case and each upper case to lower case. All other characters are left unchanged. Now in this s is equal to input enter the enter the sentence c h is equal to q i am taking while here while s is not equal to q one blank sentence is needed here inside this loop st is equal to blank for i in s for i in s if i dot is lower if i dot is lower st equal to st plus i dot upper l if i dot is upper st equal to st plus i dot dot lower else st equal to st plus i now after this for loop input s s is equal to input enter please enter a sentence Please enter a enter a sentence or q to quit. print st and here print u terminated the program successfully now and the students some words are small and some are in capitals now you can see it has changed the space and again it is asking so again uh, please enter the sentence so I have a So it is showing I have a book and again it is asking so I am pressing Q this time 
you terminated the program successfully. So this was the seventh program. Now make it as comment. Question eight. In this question, write a program that does the following. Take two inputs, the first an integer and the second a string. First integer and the second string it wants. So first this part we should complete. And then uh, digit occur set is set to zero and uh, then occurred from the string. Form a new input string extracted from the digits in order that occurred. Add the integers and the factor in this in so first is is equal to input enter the string with numbers now we have to check flag equal to zero for i in s if i dot is digit i dot is digit flag equal to one break if flag is equal equal one print digits are present else print no digit is present now here a b c d no digit is present and a b c d sorry so digits are present now in this program in this part we have to extract the digit and we have to enter one new number also int input enter the number so if digits are present then only we have considered the number and num one is equal to blank string now for i in s if i dot is is digit i dot is digit then num one equal to num one plus i num one equal to int num one now in this case we have to show the sum so print in this format for inputs For inputs twelve str num comma comma str num one 
str num1 and then arrow this kind of arrow and then here the string we have to show so here s should be here now here we have to display the number and the extracted number so str num str num and then we have to display plus also a comma plus comma and the str num1 and then we have to display the sum so num1 num1 plus num now a b c d 1 2 3 4 enter the number 1 2 now you can see for input 12 and this 12 and 1 2 3 4 it is and here equal to symbol also we need so here in comma equal to symbol is needed now again run this code a b c d 2 3 and 5 so it is coming 5 1 2 3 128 and if no number is present so it is directly saying no digit is present now mark it as comment Thank you students, maintain your notes and your copies properly.